Chef Franco here. We are in the Helsinki residence. This is my humble abode for the next couple of days. I want to show you what we're going to do here. This is the cooking area, and we're going to make ourselves a nice Giardino. I picked up some really nice vegetables, even this beautiful, beautiful uh, purple-looking cauliflower. I tasted it before, if you want to see. Really nice. They're very small and dainty. They have a little sweet taste to them, and they're a little peppery as well. So it's going to be very interesting to cook with this. I've only seen this once or twice before, so this is going to be fun. I also found these delicious coxcomb. They're homemade pastas. I found these at a store across the street from the harbor. Really nice, exciting that they're doing some authentic Italian pastas here in Helsinki, and we are going to get to cooking. So we have some extra virgin olive oil. That's a great place to start. A little extra virgin olive oil in the pan. This pan is over medium-high heat. And we came across some really nice red onions at the harbor as well. Um, I figured maybe we'll try them, maybe we won't. So this time we're going to incorporate them into this dish. And I have some really nice garlic as well. So this is going to go into the pan to start our sauce. One, two, three. You can see it's already starting to go. And we're going to saute these gently just for a few minutes, right? We're building our sauce, starting with the garlic and the red onion. The next step is going to be the next thing that would cook the longest, the purple cauliflower. Absolutely beautiful. I'm going to put these in, real nice, let them saute for a minute or two. These do not need a lot of cooking. We want to leave them al dente. They're very, very, very dainty. They're not going to take a lot to cook. The next addition would be the peppers and the zucchini, which don't need much cooking as well. We're going to add some tomatoes, and then from there we're going to incorporate some stock, vegetable stock that I made. We'll have ourselves a sauce. Our water is boiling nicely. It was salted earlier for our coxcomb, the pasta. I'll put that right in, as you can see. Like so. It's starting to smell delicious. And if you stir it a little bit once you get it in, they will not stick. Cover it again, let that go for a minute or so. We're getting a little bit of flavor, a little bit of colorization, and that's what you want to see. At this stage, I'm going to add the tomatoes. I'm going to tell you why, because we're going to add some liquid into this, and we want to cook this down. We're going to cook that down. I'm going to raise the heat now to about high. So that would be a number nine. And you can see the tomatoes are breaking down. Really nice. Toss, bring everything together, place it gently on your stove. You don't have to cook this very, very hard like that. While that's producing, we're going to add a splash of white wine, just a little bit to the glaze and add some flavor as well. Looking good, isn't it? And those nice vibrant colors. Delicious. Now we have ourselves a nice sauce beginning. The flavors from the vegetables are marrying nicely with the wine. When this reduces, oh, let's say about half, we're going to add the stock. And you can see when you move with your finger, with your, with your spoon, not your finger, you can see when it's ready. When, you, when I can go like this and the sauce kind of stays away, I know I can start to add my liquid. And it's really smelling fragrant. I mean, I love the way this is all starting to smell. It's getting there. That tells everybody, see? And it runs back. Now we're gonna add the rest of our vegetables. These don't need a lot of cooking time. Some beautiful peas that we picked up as well, tossed. And we have the stock. The stock is really nice, it's flavorful. I made it fresh here. Okay, not too much. We want to keep it about the vegetables. We're going to bring that to a nice boil and we're going to check our pasta. When our pasta rises to the top, as you can see yet it has not, when it comes to the top these are done. So I guess about another oh, minute or so. This is starting to come to a boil. 
And you can see everything looks still vibrant. Nothing's overcooked at all. You don't need to put a top on this. This is fine as is. We're gonna add a little seasoning. They left uh, some fine metal herb salt here for us to try. I've been using it in a lot of cooking and it's absolutely delicious. You can pick it up at their uh, Helsinki Wild Food Markets. And um, I don't know, it just adds a real nice flavor and earthiness to things that you cook. So why not use it up? It's really nice. There you go. Let all that come together. Boil, boil, boil. And now that they're starting to float, what I'm going to do is I'm going to strain these and cook the rest of the rest of it in with the sauce, so it takes on the flavors of the sauce. It's the best way to, to flavor your pasta. So here we go. Carefully, we're going to pour it into the sink. And you want to have a colander and everything ready, so this way you don't burn yourself. A little pasta water is good. Drain a little bit in. Pour it in. And there you go. That can be like that. See, it's roaring nicely. As I toss this through, it's going to thicken. With pasta, if you don't toss it, you don't really get the flavor all over the pasta. Now we have something that looks like a Giardino. And you can see the nice sheen on each of the pastas. Right? It's coating. It's going to absorb like a sponge now. For another minute or so, we're going to let that boil. Looking really beautiful. Okay, and at the very end, we're going to add, or we can actually add it now while we're talking, we're going to add some of the uh, celery leaves. If you take the inner celery leaves, the ones that are in the inside of the celery stalk, they're really nice. They're flavorful, they're mild, and they add a nice taste to dishes, especially pasta sauces, keeping it like fresh and vibrant. You can see how nice. I just tear it with your fingers, nothing fancy. These are really nice. You can see they're nice and small. Rip it with your fingers. It gives a little celery flavor to it, adds a nice color. And at the very end, we have some basil and some fresh parsley that I chopped before we started the video. And that goes there. And I'm going to now toss this one more time. And we should be good. Looking good, right? A little more. See how nicely it's coated? If you come really in close, you'll see how the pasta is coated. We don't have a soup here. We're serving a pasta. There shouldn't be a too much sauce. The cauliflower, the purple cauliflower has cooked. You can see it's easily broken with a spoon. It's al dente still. And everything in here is absolutely fresh. If you want to, you can add a little bit of Parmesan cheese and toss it through. I like to, just a little bit now, not a lot. And that'll give you a little bit of a coating on it. And then you can add more at service time when you need it. Toss it through. The beautiful colors, the pasta. Unbelievable that we found this homemade pasta made here in Helsinki. I'm so excited for that. In the dish. You have enough here for at least four or five people. So we're not going to eat it all. Like so. Add a little bit more cheese. See how nice the sauce is running, but it's not running to the edge of the plate, meaning it's reduced nicely. We have our little basil. Looking beautiful. Smoking hot. For me to you guys, Helsinki Residency, please watch more of my videos at www.frankolandia.com. I want to give a big thank you to you guys at Helsinki.com. I'm going to try this and let you know what it tastes like. Fabulous. This is truly fabulous. Please, when you come to Helsinki, walk around, see the markets, do some cooking. If you come to the residency, cook here too. Ciao now.